Hey reverence Bhagwan Shankara, uh, the progeny of the Brahma, the very rod of the tree of the piety, very root of the tree of the piety, the beloved devotee of King uh, King Shri Rama, the full moon that bring joy to the ocean of the wisdom, the sun that opens the lotus of this patience, the winds that disperse the clouds of ignorance, who uh, dispels the thick darkness of sin and eradicates the threefold agony, and who wipe off oblique. The worship of Shri Rama, the lighter of all, whose graceful form is an embodiment of the joy and the dark as a rainy cloud, who is the who is clad in the charming yellow bark and carries in his hands a bow and the arrow, who has a beautiful shining and the well equipped queer uh, fastens to their vest and has a pair of the large lotus eyes, who is adored with a with a tough of the matted uh, look on his head, head and who is uh, seen journeying with the Sita and the Lakshmana. Shri Rama's virtue, uh, Uma Parvati, are mysterious. The sages as well as the learned men develop dispassion when they appreciate them, while the deluded fools who are hostile to Shri Hari and have no love to the piety get bewildered to hear of them. I have portrayed to the best of my ability the incompatible and the charming affection to Sri Rama of the citizens of the Yodhya as well as the Bharata. Now hear uh, of the all holy exploit of the Lord that we uh, wrought in the forest to the delight of the God, man and the sakes. On one occasion Sri Rama called uh, cut lovely flowers and made uh, with his own hands a number of uh, uh, a number of ornaments with which he with which he lovely lovely dagged sita and sat, sat with her as a beautiful rock of the crystal the foolish son of the indra the lord of calestia took the form of the crow and wanted to test the might of the shri Ram, the lord of ragi even as the most dull witted ant would sound the despite of the oceans this uh, the stupid fool who had distinguished himself as a crow with a uh, with a sinister motive but sita is the fool in the foot with his uh, peak and flew away the lord of ragu came to know it only there when the blood rained from her foot and fitted a shaft of the reed of uh, on his head the lord of ragu extremely compassionate and always fond to the meek but the mischievous fools came and the fair played a trick even with him a wing with the spats and shaft spread over the Brahma, spat forth, and the crow in the terror took to the flight. Indra, since now assured his own form and approached his father, but the fa- the fa- the latter refused to give uh, him uh, give him shelter, uh, knowing him to be the enemy of the Sri Rama. Having lost hope, he felt as alarms as the heart of the sakes. Durvasa was afraid of the Lord of the dis- Lord Discus. Very and the stricken with grief and grief, he traversed uh, the abode of the Brahma, the realms of the Lord Shiva, and all other religions. But no one even asked him to sit down. Who can dare afford shelter to the enemy of the Shri Rama? Listen, Garula, Mount of the Shri Hari, a mother become as terrible as the death. Uh, death and father assumes the role of the Yama, the god of the death. Uh, Ambrosia turns into the weapons, and the friends become a hostile as a hundred enemies. Uh, hostile as a hundred enemies. The Calistria of Ganga is covered into the Vatani. Nay, the whole world become hotter than fire to him who is uh, in Mike, inimical to Shri Rama. The Sikh Narada, Narada saw Janta, Indra's son, in distress and was moved with piety, for saints are always tender of heart. The Sikh sent him immediately to Shri Rama, and he cries out, Save me, O friend of the suppliant. Blivindered and terrified, he went and clasped his feet and said, Mercy, mercy, O gracious Lord of the Raghu, I could not perceive your uh, incomparable might and matchless glory, delvited as I am. I have reaped the fruit uh, borne uh, by my own action and have now sought refuge in you. Protect me, my Lord. When the all-merciful Lord heard his most piteous appeals, he let him go with the low loss of one eye, O Parvati. Out of the folly, Jayanta had committed offense, offense against the Lord and therefore deserves death. The latter took compassion on him and let him go. Who is there so merciful as the hero of the Raghu line? 
Staying at Chitragur, the Lord of Raghu performed flights of the many, many kinds, which are sweet to ear uh, as an actor. Sri Rama then thought to himself, people will uh, throng here now that everyone has come to know me. Uh, taking leave to all of the Hermits, therefore, the two brothers, Sri Rama and Lakshmana, left the place with Sita. When the Lord repaired to the Atri Hermitage, the great sake was rejoiced the news thrilling all over with joy atri sprang up and ran to meet him and seeing him come uh, she ramas to advance hurriedly hurriedly towards him even uh, as the two brothers protested themselves the sake lift, lifted them and clasped them to the bosoms uh, bathed them with tears of love. His eyes were gladdened by the sight of the Sri Rama's beauty, and then he reverently escorted them to his hermitage. Paying his homage to the Lord, he spoke kind words to him and offered him roots and the fruits which is which he relished much. As the Lord took his seat, Atri, the chief of the Sikhs, supremely wise as he was, feasted his eyes on his loveliness and joining his palm, proceeded to extol him. I reverence you who are so fond of your devotee, compassionate and gentle uh, of disposition. I adore your lotus feet with uh, vouchsafe to your selfless lovers as quarter of your own abode. You are com uh, you are possessed of an exquisitely beautiful Swarthi form. You are Mount Mandara as it were to churn the ocean of the mundane existence. You have eyes like the full-blown lotuses and rid your uh, votaries of pride and other vices. Immense in the mind of your long arm and the immeasurable your glory you carry on your your person acquire a bow and the arrow O lord of the three worlds the ornaments of the solar race you broke the bow of, of the great lord shiva delighting the greatest sex and the saints you crush the host of the demons the enemies of the god you are an object of reverence to lord shiva and are adored to the brahma and other div divinities and embodiment of the pure consciousness you destroy all evils i both to lakshmi's lord the fountain of the joy and the salvation of the saints i uh, i adore you with your spouse sita younger brother lakshmana yourself a beloved younger brother of indra uh, Sachi's men, men who worship the soul of your feet and are uh, free from jealousy, sink not into the ocean of metaphorses, uh, turbulent with the billow of wrangling. They who, living in circulations, constantly worship you with their senses and mind, etc., fully subdued for the sake of the attaining liberations, are able to realize their own self. I adore him, the mysterious Lord, who is one without. Uh, Second, desireless, all powerless, and omniscient, the teachers of the world, eternal transgettings, the three gunas, sattva, rajasa, and tamsa, and absolute self existence. I adore him who is the fount of the devotion, who is the most difficult of access of the sensuality minded, striving, but who is wish yielding tree to his own devotee, they who is inferior and so easy to worship from day to day. I bore the Sita's Lord, King Ram of the matchless beauty i reverence you be gracious to me and grant me devotion to your lotus feet men who recite this hymns with reverence undoubtedly attend your abode acquiring devotion to your feet at the same time having prayed thus the sakes bowed to his heads and joining his palm spoke again my mind o lord may never abandon your lotus feet And then Sita, who was so good natured and the modest, met Ansuya, Atri's wife, and clasped his feet. The Sikh's wife felt extremely pleased at heart. She blessed her, and seeing her by her sides, arrayed her in, in heavenly robes and ornaments that remains ever new. Clean and charming is affectionate and mild tones of the holy lady, then proceeded to discourse on some wifely virtues making her an uh, occasion for such discourse listen of princes a mother father and the brother are all kind but they bestow only limited joy a husband however bestow unlimited joy in the form of blessedness oh with a daughter while is the woman who refused to serve him uh, fortitude piety a friend and the wife these four fortitude piety uh, piety friends and the wife these four are put to the test only in time of the adversity 
a woman who treats her husband with disrespect even though he is old sick dull headed indigent blind deaf wrathful or most wretched shall suffer various torments in the hell the abode of the yama devotion of the body speech and mind to her lord sweet is the only duty scares you and the penis of the woman there are four type of the faithful wife in this world so declared the vedas the puranas all saints a woman of the best type of convinced is her heart of heart that she cannot even dream in this world of a man other than her lord the the middling regards another husband as her own brother father or son according to his age she who is restrained by the consideration of considerations of virtue or by the thought of her race is declared by the vedas as a low woman and no how to be the lowest woman in this world who restrains only by fear and want opportunity the woman who a deceives her husband sir love a paramour is cast for a hundred cycle into, into the worst from the hell known by the name of the raru rarurwa who is so dis, uh, who is so deprived as the woman who for the sake of the moment pleasure reckon not the torment that shall endure for a thousand million births the woman who sincerely take a vow of fidelity to her husband easily attain the highest state while she who is disloyal to her lord is widowed as soon as she attain her youth year wherever she may be reborn a woman is impure by her very birth but she attain a happy happy states by nurturing serving her lord it is due to her loyalty to her husband that tulsi is loved by the shri rahari even to this day and her glory is sung by all the four vedas this is sita women will maintain uh, their vow of fidelity to their husband by invoking your very name shri rama being dear to you as your own life it is for the good of the world that i have spoken to you on the subject Janaka's daughter Sita was overjoyed to hear this discourse and reverently bowed her head at the feet of the Ansuya. The All Merciful then said to the sages, "With your permission, I would go to some other forest. Continue to shower your grace on me, and knowing me to be your servant, never cease loving me." Hearing these words of the Lord, who was the champion of the virtue, the and light and sex lovingly reply you are the same rama the supreme deity the beloved of the desireless and the friend of the meek whosoever in sought by the brahma the unborn lord shiva the sheikh sheikh shankha and all who favor in sought by the brahma the unborn lord shiva the sheikh the sheikh shankha and all other uh, parchers knowers of the highest reality and yet you are addressing such polite words to me i now understand the wisdom of shri goddess lakshmi who chose you as her lord to be execution of the all other gods how can he who is unequaled and the unsurpassed by the anyone as be less amiable than he is now how can i say you may go now my lord tell me my master knowing as you do the hearts of the all having spoken thus the sage kept gazing on the lord thrilling all over the emotions and his eyes uh, flowing with tears thrilling all over with the excess of love the sage riveted his eyes on the lord's lotus feet he thought to himself what prayers did i mutter and what Astarity did I perform that I was uh, enabled to behold with my own eyes the Lord who is beyond all knowledge and the transcends the three gunas as well as the senses and the minds. It is through japa, muttering of prayers, yoga, concentration of the mind, and the host of the religious and reverence that men acquire a devotion which is incomparable as a man mean of the God relation. So does Tusida sings the all holy exploits of the Shri Rama, the hero of the Rugline day and night. the praises of the shri ramas destroy the impurities of the kali age subdued the mind and are the source of the light shri rama remains a even propitious to those who listen to them with reverence the terrible age of the kali is reportedly of sins piety spiritual wisdom yoga and japa are out of place to this age the alone are wise who worship shri rama giving up all other hopes bowing his head at the lotus feet of the sage shri rama the lord of a celestial human being in the sage proceeded to the shri rama walked 
foremost while Lakshmana followed him in the rear, both appearing most lovely in the grab of the hermit between the two Sita who was the same of the Shri, Shri the goddess of property shone forth like Maya which stands between Brahma the absolute and the Jiva the individual soul rivers and the thickest hills in the rugged valley recognized their lord and gave him a smooth passage wherever the divine lord of the Raghus passed the cloud made a canopy in the heavens even as the trio wended their way to the demon Virdha met them the hero of Raghu lines slayer him in as soon as he made his appearance meeting his death at the hands of the lord the he immediately attained the beauteous uh, divine form uh, finding him uh, led a miserable existence the lord sent him to his own abode uh, accompanied by his lovely younger brother Lakshmana and Janaka's daughter Sita, the Lord then uh, visited the Sikh Sarbhanga. Gazing on the Sri Rama's lotus face, the eyes of the great Sikh reverently drank in the beauty like bees. Blessed indeed was the birth of the Sarbhanga. He said the Sikh, listen gracious Rama, the hero of Raghulain, the swan, distorting the Mansa lake of the Lord Shiva's heart. I was about, it was about to leave the Brahma's abode when the report reaches my ears that the Sri Rama was, yourself was coming to the forest. I have even since read, watched the road day and night. My heart is now soothed at the sight of my Lord. I have accomplished nothing to deserve your grace, yet you have shown your grace to me, knowing me to be your humble servants, really speaking however you have done me no favor my lord you have only redeemed your woe you stealers of your devotees hearts for the sake of his their humble servants remains here to before remain here before my eyes till i have quitted this body and meet you in you know, in your own abode so saying the sakes offers to the lords whatever practice of yoga sacrifice japa muttering of prayers penis and fasting he has done and receiving in return the boon of the devotion having thus acquired the a gift of the uh, devotion of the Sikh Sarpanga prepared a funeral pie, uh, funeral pie and discarding all attachment from his heart ascended it. Constantly abide in my heart, O Lord, with Sita and your younger brother Lakshmana in your qualified and the embodied form Swarthi as a dark cloud of the graceful Rama, O graceful Rama. Having said so, the uh, burned his body with the fire of the yoga and by the grace of the Sri Rama rose to Vaikuntha. The Sikh was not absorbed into the person of Sri Hari for this simple reason that he has already received the boon of the personal devotions. The multitude of Sikhs assembles on the occasion and who saw the high state in which the great Sikhs had now been translated were greatly delighted at heart. All the hosts of the Sikhs was extolled the Lord glory eh, to the friends of the suppliant, the fountain of the mercy. Then the Lord of Raghu went on further into the forest and Many a host of the great Sikhs accomplished him, seeing a heap of bones. The Lord of Raghu was moved with great uh, compassion and inquired the hermits about the same. Through knowing everyone, how is it that you ask us, our master? We know you are all seeing and can read the innermost feeling of all. Host of the demons have devoured all the Sikhs. The eyes of the Sri Rama, the hero of the Raghu race, filled with tears when he heard this. With uplifted arms, he uh, took a vow to rid the earth of demons. Then he gladdens all the hermits by visiting their hermitage on one by one. The Sikh Agastya has a learned discipline, so, so Siksha by name, who was a great lover of the Lord, he who Shri Ramayana, Shri Ramayana, Shri Ramayana, Shri Ramayana, Shri Ramayana, Shri Ramayana. He, he was devoted to Shri Rama's sweet in thoughts, but in end had no, uh, had no faith in any other deity, even in dream. As soon as the news of the Lord approach reached his uh, uh, ears, he rushed out hurriedly, indulging in his own fancy. Will the Lord of Raghu, the be the befriender of the meek, O oh good heavens, ever show his grace to the wretch like me? Uh, will Lord Sri Rama and his younger brother receive me as their own servants? I have no uh, un, un, uh, uh, unswearing faith in my heart nor in my mind, illuminated by the light of the devotion, dispassion, or wisdom. I have no association with saints and the 
प्रैक्टिस नाइदर योगा कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ माइंड नॉर जपा मटरिंग ऑफ प्रेयर्स नॉर द रिचुअल्स नॉर डू आई क्लेम एन स्टीट फास्ट डिवोशन टू द लॉर्ड्स लोटस फीट आई बैंक ऑन वन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ द ऑल मर्सी फॉर लॉर्ड ही होल्ड्स द डिवोटी डियर हु डिपेंड्स एक्सक्लूसिवली ऑन हिम दिस इंस्पायर मी विद द होप दैट माई आईज विल बी रिवॉर्डेड टूडे बाय द साइट ऑफ द लॉर्ड लोटस फीट दैट डिलीवर्स वन फ्रॉम द बाउंडेज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एग्जिस्टेंस द वाइज वॉज drowned in the flood of love his condition so parvati cannot be described in words he had no idea of the four quarters much less of the intermediate points of the compassions nor could he made out of the track he did not know who he was or whither bound he uh, he would now turn his back and then resume his journey in the same direction and now he would dance and sing his uh, song of praises the sikhs and uh, had been gifted with devotions of the nature of intense love and the lord watched him hiding behind a tree when the hero of raguline who despised the fear of the transmigration saw the sikh excessive loves he revealed himself in his heart the sikh sat motionless in the mind middle of the path his body blistering like a jackfruit with his its hair standing on end the lord of the ragu thereupon drew near and was delighted at heart to see the state of his devotee shri rama tried many ways to rouse the sikh but the but he would not uh, walk lost as he was in the ecstasy of his vision shri rama then withdraw his uh, kingly goose and manifests his four arms of form in the sikh's hearts the sikh there were uh, thereupon started up in great agony growing as uh, restless as the noble so uh, serpents that he lost the gems on his head but seeing before him the blissful rama in his swarthy form and the sita and his younger brother the great uh, lakshmana the great the great and blabless sikh was overwhelmed with affections and dropped like a log on his feet taking him in his long arms the lord lifted him and uh, with utmost affection uh, pressed him to his bosom while embracing the sikh the gracious lord shone forth like a tamla tree meeting with the tree of the gold the sikh gazed on the shri rama's uh, face standing motionless like a figure drawn in a picture summoning courage in his heart and clasping his feet again and again the sikh then conducted the lord to his hermitage and adored him homage in many ways said the sikh uh, listen o lord of my prayers how am i to hymn your praises for immeasurable your glory and scant is my wit which is the ignis you get is a is a flash of a firefly before the sun i constantly uh, glorify shri rama the chief of ragu with a body dark as a string of the blue lotuses wearing a crown of the matted lock on his head and clad in the hermit's robes and carrying a bow and arrow in his hands with a queer fastening to his waist the fire which consumes a thick forest of delusions the sun that brings the light of the lotus like sense the lion who kills the herds of the elephants in the form of the demons the hawk that kills the birds of the metaphorses metamorphoses may he ever protect us i extol shri rama who sai assembles the red lotuses who is uh, elegant dressed who is a fully moon to the sitas uh, chakuras uh, like uh, like eyes Uh, who is kaijent disporting in the mansa lake of the lord shiva's hearts and who has a broad chest and a long arm a garuda to devour the serpent of the doubt the queller of the chi ramay shi ramay na shi ramay na shi ramay queller of the this pair induced by the hated controversy the pruter of the transmigration the delighter of the gods and embodiment of the compassion may he ever protect us i sing the praises of shri rama the reliever of the earth burden who in both with and the without attributes who is partial as well as the impartial who transcends knowledge speech and the senses and has no compare nay who is all pure all comprehensive a faultless and unlimited i a veritable garden of the wish healing tree to his devotee who keep away wrath greed pride and the lust who is the most urban in manner and the bridge to cross the ocean of the mundane existence may that a uh, champion of the solar race oh, ever protect me matchless is power of arms the home of his strength the armor 
for the protection of the rightness and wrote with the host of the delightful virtue may the that rama who very name wipe out the great sins of the kali age be ever propitious to me even through he is patientless all pervading imperishable and even dwelling in the heart of all let him abide in my thought as a slaver of the khara roaming about in the wood with his younger brother lakshmana and the sita let alone my lord those who know you to be the both and the without with and without attributes and witness of all hearts as for myself may shri ramas the lotus i lord of the kaushla take up his abode in my heart let not this uh, uh, exalted feeling despair disappear from my mind even in an uh, unguarded moment that i am his servants and the lord of whom my masters shri rama was delightful to hear to delightful like it hard to hear the sage's words and his delight she passed the great sage to his bosom again no me to be supreme pl- delighted to he delighted her to hear the sage's words and his uh, at uh, and in his delight he pressed the great sage to his bosom again know me to be the supremely pleased to say i am prepared to grant you any boon you may choose to ask the sage sage i have never asked any boon and know not what is real and what is unreal what is chosen and what is rejected therefore o delighted of the gods devotees grant me uh, that Uh, which pleases you o lord of the ragu may you become a repository of the worldly wisdom and goodness as well as the shri ramayana as well as the intense devotion dispassion and spiritual wisdom i have received the boon that my lord has been pleased to grant now vow save to me that which is cherished by me armed with the bows and the arrow and accompanied by your younger brother and the janaka's daughter sita o lord of the ragu pray dwell forever like a moon in the ferment of my heart throw free from every desire so be it said shri rama the abode of the lakshmi as he joyously started on his visit to the jar born sik agastya uh, agast Uh, it is the long uh, time since i last saw my guru and came to live in the hermitage now my lord i will go with you to see my guru thus i am not putting you under any obligations the fountain of mercy saw through the sage's cleverness and both the brothers smiled as they took him with them discoursing on the way on the on the incomparable uh, cult of devotion uh, to his own feet shri rama the king of the gods arrived at the hermitage of the sage agastya sustishna immediately saw the guru and after protesting himself before the latter thus addressed them my lord the two sons of the king dashratha kaushala lord the support of the world has come to see you shri ramas accompanied by his younger brother lakshman and with his daughter sita whose name you repeats night and day venerable sir agastya uh, started up as soon as he heard this and uh, rain at the sight of the shri hari his eyes filled with tears the two brothers swell at the low sex lotus sweets and the sex took and clasped him to his bosom with that most affection courteous inquiring after their welfare the enlightened sex conducted them to the magnificent seats and then offer worship in various ways to the lord saying there is no other man so blessed as i am whatever other sex has assembled there were all delighted to behold the fountain of journey as he sat in the midst of the assembly of the sages with his faces turned towards all and the eyes fixed with the moon like face it seems like a baby of the chakura birds gazing to the atmal moon the, then said shri rama the hero of ragulain to the sages i have nothing to hide from you my lord you know what ha- what for i have come that is why holy sir i have not dwelt at length on this point now my good sir give me some advice by following which i may be able to kill the uh, enemies of the hermits the sage smiles when he hears the lord's remark with with what intentions have you asked me this questions it is my virtue of my devotion to you o destroyer of the sin that i know a bit for of your glory your maya creative potencies like a huge tree of the species known by the name of the ume 
ਉਦੋਂ ਮੁੰਬਰਾ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਕਾਊਂਟਲੈਸ ਮਲਟੀਟਿਊਡਸ ਆਫ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸ ਫਾਰ ਦ ਕਲਸਟਰਿੰਗ ਫਰੂਟਸ ਦ ਐਨੀਮੇਟ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਇਨਐਨੀਮੇਟ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਇਨ ਇਨ ਇਨਹੈਬਿਲਿੰਗ ਦ ਵੈਰੀਅਸ ਯੂਨੀਵਰਸ ਆਰ ਲਾਈਕ ਦ ਇਨਸੈਕਟਸ ਦੈਟ ਡਵੈਲ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਦ ਫਰੂਟ ਐਂਡ ਨੋ ਆਫ ਨੋ ਅਦਰ ਥਿੰਗ ਫਰੂਟ ਬਿਸਾਈਡਸ ਦ ਵਨ ਬਾਈ ਦ ਇਨਹੈਬਿਟਸ ਦ the relentless and the dreadful time is uh, spread devour trees fruits but even that all devouring time ever trembles in fear of you you who are the suzerain lord of all the religious regional lords have asked my advice as though you were an ordinary human being i ask this boon of you o oh, oh, home of the mercy pray dwell in my heart with your spouse sita and the younger brother lakshmana and let me have intense devotion dispassion fellowship with the saints and unbroken love for your lotus feet even though i know you to be the same as the indivisible and the infinite brahma the absolute who can only be realized and cannot be known by any other means and in adore and is adored by the saints and even through i i depict you as such i feel in terms of your qualified form again and again you have always exalted your servants that is why you have uh, thro fit to consult me o lord of the rogu there is my lord a most charming in the holy spot is called the panchavati sanctifying the uh, dandaka forest where is it is situated and redeem it from the terrible course of the great sake shukracharya take up your abode there o lord of the uh, O Shri Ramayana Ma Shri Ramayana O Lord of the Raghu line and show your grace to all the saints on receiving the sake from Shri Ramayana departed and drew near to the Panchavati a short while Shri Ramayana Ma Shri Ramayana Shri Ramayana Shri He met Jatayu the kings of vulture and were developing friendship with him in many ways the Lord stayed near the Godavari where he made uh, himself a thatched hut of the leaves Uh, from the time shri rama took up his abode here there the six lives happily and were rid of all fear the hills woods streams and lakes were swept with the beauty and grew yet more lovely day by day the birds and deer were full of joy and uh, the bees and their sweet humming looked very charming is not even shesha the king of servants would be able to describe the forest uh, would be able to describe the forest which was adorned by the shri rama the chief of ragu in his in feast from once upon a time as the lord was sitting at the ease lakshmana addressed him in a glueless words o lord o lord of the gods human being sakes in all animate and the inanimate creations i ask you as of my own masters instruct me my lord how i am able able to adore the dust of your feet to the exclusion of everything as discoursing to me the spiritual wisdom and dispassion as well as maya illusions and also speak me about bhakti due to which you shower your grace also explain to me all the difference between gods and the individual souls so that i may be devoted to your feet and my sorrow infatuation and delusion may disappear i will explain everything in the in a nutshell listen dear brother with your mind intellect uh, and reasons fully uh, absorbs the feeling of i and mine and you and yours is maya illusions which holds sway uh, over all creature being whatever is perceived by the senses and that which lies within the reach of the mind knows it all to the maya and here of its the divisions to they are to knowledge and ignorance the one ignorance is vile and uh, vile and uh, extremely painful and has cast the jiva into metaphorses the other knowledge which brings forth the creation and which holds sway over the three gunas sattva rasa and tamsa is directed by the lord as he now stand to its own spiritual wisdom in that which uh, it is free from the blemish in the shape of the pride etc and which sees the supreme spirit equally in all he alone dear uh, brother should be called a man of the supreme dispassions who has sprung all nat- supernatural power as well as three gunas of which the universe is composed as if of no more account than the blade of the grass the uh, that alone deserves to be called jiva individual soul which knows not maya nor god nor uh, on oneself and shiva god is who award bondage and liberation according to one deserts transgresses all and uh, is the mo- motivator of maya 
dispassion result from the practice of virtue while spiritual wisdom comes from the practice of the yoga and wisdom is the bestower of the liberations so declare the vedas and which melt my heart quickly dear brother is is devotion which is the delighter of my devotee uh, my devotee is stands by itself and require no other prop where jana knowledge of the god is his absolute formless aspects the vijna knowledge of the uh, qualified aspects of the god both with and the without form depends on it devotion dear brother is the incomparable and uh, the very uh, root of the bliss it can be acquired only by the favor of the saints i now proceed to tell you at uh, some length the mean the mean of the the mean of acquiring devotion and easy uh, and easy a uh, path by which men find me in the first place a man should cultivate excessive devotion to the feet of the brahmans and secondly he should remains engaged in his own duty according to the lines laid down by the vedas this induces an aversion to the pleasure of the sense and dispassion in it in genders a love for my cult the cult of devotions this will bring steed fastness in the nine form of devotion such as sattva sravana hearing of the lord praises etc and the mind will develop excessive fondness for my sports again one should be extremely devoted to the lotus feet of the saints and should be precedent uh, precedent in the particle of adoration through mind speech and action he should uh, recognize me, me as his preceptor father mother kinsmen lord deity and all and should be seated fast in my service a thrill run through his body and he sings my praises his voice gets choked and his eyes flow with tears he is free from lust and other vices prides and hypocrisy i am ever at the back and call of such a devotee may i ever and uh, may i uh, ever repose repose in the lotus heart of those who depends on me in thoughts words and deed and who worship me in a selfless way Lakshma was greatly delighted to hear the about disclosure discourse of the discipline of bhakti devotion and bowed his head to the feet of the lord in this way some days were spent in discoursing of this shira mayana shira mayana shira mayana shira this passion is spiritual wisdom goodness and the morality now ravana the notorious demon king in lanka had a sister surpanaka uh, let a woman having nails as big as the uh, windowing fan by name who was foul hearted and cruel as the serpent she once went the panchavati and was smitten with pain of love at the sight of the two princes at the very sight of the handsome man be he her own brother father or son o garuda a woman get excited and cannot restrain her passion even as the sun uh, stone emits fire when it is brought in front of the sun having assumes uh, sun stone emits fire when it is brought in front of the sun having assumes a charming form she approached the lord and with many a smile addressed the following words to him there is no man like you and no woman like me it is with the great deliberation that god has made this pair i have ransacked the three spheres but have found no suitable match for me in the whole universe it is for the seasons that i have till now remained a virgin my mind has been set at rest a bit only after seeing you the lord cast a glance at sita and said only this much my younger brother is a bachelor she went to the lakshmana who knowing that she was their enemy sister looked at his lord and spoke in gentle tone listen fair lady i am his servant and dependent thus you will have no uh, comforts with me my lord is all powerful and the sovereign king of the kaushal pura vidya whatever he does will be worthy of uh, him a servant who uh, who aspire for the happiness a beggar who expect honor a person addicted to some vice and hopes of riches a profligate who seeks a blessed state after death shri ramayana an avarious man who covets fame and uh, profound man who expects the four prizes of the life all these men expect to get milk by milking the heavens again she turns and came to shri rama but the lord sent her back to lakshmana said lakshmana he alone will wed you who deliberately caused all shame to the winds 
Thereupon she went fitting and foaming to Sri Rama and revealed her frightful demonic form. The Lord of Raghu saw that the Sita was terrified and made a sign of his younger brother Lakshmana. With great agility, Lakshmana struck off her nose and the ears, thereby challenging Ravana through her to the contest as it were. Without nose and the ear, she wore a hideous aspect and looks like a mountain flowing with torrents at the red orchards. She went sobbing to Khara and Dushna, fie, fie upon you, my manhood and the strange brothers. Cautioned by, the, cautioned by them, she told them everything in details. Hearing her uh, reports, the demons chiefs gathered as army, swarming multitudes of the demons of the diverse shapes rushed forth like a host of the winged mountain of the collarium of vehicles and the, of the various kinds. They were infinite in numbers and were armed with terrible weapons of various kinds. They placed at her, their head Surpanaka stone shown of her, uh, her ears uh, and uh, nose, and thus presenting an in, inauspicious sight. Numberless ill omens of the fearful natures occurred to them, but the host heeded them, not doomed as they all were to death. They rode and the view bullied and sprang in her air, and the champions were filled with excessive joy to see the army. Said one, capture the two brothers alive, and having captured them, kill them, and carry off the, uh, and having captured them, alive, and having captured them, kill them, and uh, carry off the woman. The vault of the heavens was overhung with the dew, dust raised by them. Seeing this, the Shri Rama called his younger brother and said, Take Janka's daughter to some mountain cave. A terrible array of demons has come. Therefore, remain on your guard. Obedient to his lord's command, he, he withdraw to the safe treat, retreat with Sita, bow and uh, arrow in his hands. When Shri Rama saw that the hostile force has advanced, he smiled as he strung his formidable bow. As he uh, coiled his mated lock into uh, a tuff on his head, after stringing his formidable bow, it seemed as if a pair of snakes were engaged in conflict with countless strikes of lightning on the mountains of the emerald. Having grinned, uh, grinder up his quill as his vest and the, clasping the bows with his long arms and putting his arrows in order, he looked at the enemy even as a lion, the king of the beast, would glare at the herd of the large elephants. Valiant champions came rushing with all speed, shouting, Seize him, seize him, even as the demons close round upon the raising sun, finding it all alone. Shri Ramayana. He closed round upon the rising sun, finding all alone. Uh, even as they beheld the Lord in invading warriors, could not discharge their arrow. The whole demons host because power become powerless. Kara and Dushna summoned them and said, The princes, whoever he may be, is an ornament of the human race of all the Nyargas, demons, gods, human beings, and the sakes that exist in this universe. We have seen uh, vanquished and slain many, but during our whole life, listen to us, our Britons. Uh, our Britons, all we have never uh, beheld such beauty. Even though he has dis disfigures our sister, he does not deserve death. Peerless he as he is among men, surrender to us at once. The woman you have put the in hiding somewhere and returns uh, and return home with your life. Both you and your brother deliver this message of mine to him and return uh, immediately with his uh, with his reply. The hand, the the headlands went to Sri Rama and divers the message to him in reply. In which Sri Rama smilingly said, "We are Kshatriya by birth and are given to haunting the woods. Wretches like you are the games that we are tracking. We are never dismayed at the sight of the mighty foe and would give battle to death himself. It is." if he ever appeared before us. Therefore, human being, we are the exterminator of the race of the demons and through youthful in appearance, we are the protector of the hermits and torments of the wigs. If you have no strength to fight, you had better return homes. I never kill the enemy who have turned his back upon the field of the battle. When you have come up uh, to fight, it would be the height of the weakness to play willy pranks on to show compassion in your enemy. The Harlands returns forthwith and repeated all that they had been told. The heart of Khara and uh, Dushna was on fire when they heard it. 
their heart was on the fire and uh, they exclaimed capture him hearing with pharisees demons ka champion rushed forth all armed with bows and arrows steel clubs spikes spears skimisters max and the axes first of all the lord gave him bow a twang shrill uh, tra- tariff uh, terrific and fearful which uh, defended and distressed the demons and they had no sense left in them at that time having learned that they were confronting a powerful enemy the demon warriors now rushed with cautious and began to hurl missiles and the weapons of the various kinds on shri rama the hero of raguna however tore them into the pieces a small sesame seeds and the drawing the bow strings to his ears let fly his arrows then the terrible arrows uh, expected forth hissing like so many serpents shri rama got uh, in fury in the battle and uh, uh, arrows excessively sharp flew from his bows the demon warriors turns and fled when they found the arrow so very keen the three brothers Sh- khara dushna and trisha now flee into the rag whoever flee from the battlefield will be killed by us with our own hands at this the warrior turns back fully resolves in the die uh, to die and made a frontal attack with the weapons of the every descriptions perceiving that the enemy was exceedingly furious the lord's fair fitted arrows to his bows and discharged many uh, a shaft of the narcha types with the results that uh, frightful fields begins to be moved down trunks heads arms as heads and the feet begin to drop to the ground here there and everywhere pierced by the shaft they yield and uh, and their uh, trunks fell like mountain the bodies of the warriors were torn into the hundred pieces and resorting to deceptive methods they stood up again a number of arms and beheld flew through the air and headless trunks ran to and fro birds like kites and crows and jackals wrangled in the cruel and the awful way jackals wrangled ghosts and spirits and the uh, fr- and friends filled the ball of the skulls with blood devils clutched the heads to slain warriors like uh, campbells and the yoginis dance shri rama's fierce arrows tore to the pieces the ladders breached arms and the heads their bodies fell on every side but stood up again to fight with terrible cries of the sea's capture vulture flew away with the end of the hermit in this uh, their claws uh, with the end to entrail in their claws while goblins scamp- scampered with the others and held in their head- hands uh one might fancy numberless children of the town of the battlefield were flying kites a large number of champions that had been smitten or knocked down or whose breast had been torn by mourning finding their army in distress leaders like trisha khara and dushna turns towards shri rama countless demons hurled furiously against the hero of ragu lines arrows spears iron clubs axes javelins and daggers all at once in the twinkling of the eyes the lord warded of the enemy shafts and sent forth his own uh, arrows planting 10 shafts in the breast of the each champions of the demon souls the, led, the leaders fell on the ground but rose again and joined in this fury yet they would not die and played very many tricks the gods trembled with fear when they saw that the demons numbers 14000s where the lord of yoga was all alone finding the gods and sage exams the lord who was the controller of my cosmic illusions uh, what a great miracle the demon saw one another in the form of sita shri rama so that the enemy warriors fought among themselves and perished they they quitted their body crying rama rama and thereby attained the state of the eternal bliss falling back upon the device of the ocean of the mercy kills the enemy in an instant the god in the exclusions rains down flowers and the cattle drums sounded in the heavens and hymning their praises one after another they all left shining in their cars of the various patterns when the when the lord of the ragu have vanquished the foe in the battle the gods human being and the sages were all rid of the fear then lakshmana brought she sita back and as he fell as and as he 
fell at his feet the lord joyously clasped him to the bosom sita fixed his, uh, her gaze on his swarthy and delicate form with utmost affection but her eyes knew no sa satiety thus dwelling on the, at the punctuality the blessed lord of the ragu performed deed and delighted gods and the sages alike perceiving the destruction of karan dushna surpnaka approached ravana and the instit instigated him against shri rama in great fury she rated him in the following word disregarding all thought of your relims and exchequers you drink and sleep day and night and take no heed of the enemy who is now at your very door sovereignty without political inside wealth uh, diverse from the virtue wealth diverse from the virtue noble deed and noble deed that have not been offered to shri rama shri hari and learning which with which does not beget discrimination is nothing but fruitless labor to the man who has gained such kingdom or wealth to the doers of the to the doers of the noble act and to the student respectively a reclose in quickly undone by the attachment a king by evil counsels wisdom by conceit modesty by drinking friendship by want of love and man of merit by vanity such is the maxim i have here a reclose a need a mind ma an enemy is a, a enemy is a melody fire sins and master and the serpents are never be accounted trifles so sings and with profuse lamentation she sent to the vp in her distress she threw herself down the ravana court and within many and with many tears said do you think my uh, ten headed brother that i should be reduced to this state even though you are alive on hearing this the country courtries rose in the great bewilderment taking her by the arms they lifted her up and comforted her said the king of L lanka tell me what has happened to you who is the stuck of your nose and the ears two sons of the dashatha the lord of ayodhya who are lying among men are out of her hunting in the woods the estimates that i have formed mm, of their doing is that they will rid the earth of the demons relying on the might of their arms so ten hundred ravana the hermits roam about in the wood without fear throw quite young uh, to look at they are terrible as death the staunches of the archers and accomplished in many ways both uh, brothers are unequal in the might and the glory uh, devoted to the extermination of the wick they are source of the delight to the gods of the sages the elder of the two uh, wood is an abode of the beauty is known in the name of the rama he has with him uh, a younger belly Uh, the Shri Rama, you know, the Creator made the woman the very embodiment of loveliness. A hundred millions ratis consort of the God of Love are trifles before her. It was his younger brother Lakshmana who uh, chopped off my ears and nose and made a mock of mock of me when he heard that I was your sister. When Khara and Dushna heard uh, of it, they went to av avenge the wrong done to me. But Rama slew the whole army in a try in a trice. The ten-headed Ravana burns all over with rage when he heard of uh, heard of destruction of Khara, Dushna, and Trisha. Having consolidated Shrunaka, he boasted his strength in many ways. But the retired to his place, full of great anxiety, and could not sleep the whole night. Uh, among gods, human beings, demons, nagas, and birds, he thought there is none who can uh, withstand my servants. As for Khara and Dushna, they uh, were as powerful as myself. Who else could have killed them had it not been the Lord Himself? If therefore the Lord Himself, the Writer of the gods and the Reliever of the earth, burden has appeared on the earth, I will go and resol resolutely fight with Him and cross the ocean of the mundane existence by falling. to his arms adoration uh, is out of question in the demonetic body which is made up by the principle of ignorance tamsa therefore such is my firm resolve in thought words and deed and if the, they happen to be the, some mortal princes i shall conquer them both uh, in battle and carry off the bride having thus made up his mind he mounted his carriage and drove off uh, alone to the spots where marika was living by the sea shore now uh, here see uma the detectable amount of the device that shri rama employed When Lakshmana had gone to the woods to gather roots, fruits, and the bulbs, Shri Rama, the very incarnation of compassion and joy, spoke with a smile to Janaka's daughter. Listen, my darling, 
who have very who have been staunch in the holy war of fidelity to me and are so virtuous in conduct i am going to act a lovely human part abide in fire until i have completed the destruction of the demons no sooner had she nama told her everything in details than she impressed the image of the lord sweet on her heart and entered into the fire leaving with him and only the wisdom uh impressed uh, image the lord feet heart and entered into the fire living with him only the shadow of the hearts uh, shadow of the hearts so precisely of the same appearance and the same amiable and the gentle dispositions lakshmana too did not know the secret of what the lord had been uh, had done behind the curtain the ten headed ramna approached marika and bowed his head to him selfish as and while as he was the meekness of the neen creature is the source of great trouble like the bending of the goat bending of the goat bow uh, snake or cat the sugar coated speech of the villain is an alarming bhavani parvati as the flowers that blossoms out of the seasons after doing his homage marika respectfully inquired of him his errand wherefore my sons are you so much disturbed in the mind that you have come all the way alone the raj ravana proudly repeated the whole stories to him and added assumes the false appearance of the villager so that i may be able to abduct the princess marika however remonstrated listen ravana throw excuse as man he is the lord of the whole inanimate and the inanimate creation there can be no quarrel with him dear son we die when we he would have us die and live only by his sufferance those very princes and uh, the very princes have gone to the ground the sacrifice uh, guard the sacrifice of the sake vishwamitra when uh, those very prince where when shri ramadhar who smote me with the pointless arrow that threw me at a distance of 800 miles in an instance i will uh, i will not be good to antagonize them i find myself reduced to the position of an insect caught in the nest of the bhringa a wasp like winged creature in uh, in as much as i behold the two brothers whatever wherever i look even if they are human being dear son they are remarkable heroes not no, non thales and opposition to them will not will not avail but can he uh, possibly be a man who recklessly killed tatkan subahu broke shivas bo and slew khara dushna and trisha therefore considering the welfare of your race you had better return home when he heard he flared up and showered many abuses to marika you fool you presume to teach me as if you were my preceptor tell me which warrior in this world is a match for me then marika thought to himself it does not be good to make enemies of the falling nine that is nine that is one skilled in the use of the weapon he who knows uh one secrets a powerful master a dons a wealthy woman uh, a wealthy man a physician a pangrist and poet an expert cook either way he saw he must die hence he sought refuge in the lord of ragu if i argue further the wretch would kill me why then should i not killed by the shri rama's arrow pondering thus in his mind he accomplished uh, Ravan, unremitting uh, in his devotion to Sri Rama's feats, he felt extremely delighted at the th- thought that he would be able to behold his greatest friend Sri Rama, even though he would not be reveal his joy to Ravana. My eyes will be rewarded when I behold my most beloved Lord to my great exclusions, Sri Rama and Rama, and I shall fix my thoughts on the feet of the All Merciful, accompanied by Sita and his younger brother, to think that. she hari the ocean of bliss who very wrath confers final beatitudes and who thought subject who through subjects to none give himself up entirely to the will of the his devotee will fit an arrow with his own hands and his bow and slay me as he reign after me on foot carrying his bows and arrow i shall again and again turn in order to get a sight of my lord no one else is so blessed as i am when the ten headed ravana drew near to the forest in which shri rama had taken up his abode marika assumes the false appearance of the deer so very wonderful as the defied description you the body of the gold uh, artistically inlaid with jewels when sita saw the ecstasy 
exquisitely beautiful creature, most lovely in every limb. She said, Listen, my gracious Lord Shiva Rama, Lord Sri Rama, hero of the Raghulai, this jewel has a most charming skin. Pray, kill this animal, my Lord, and get me the hide true as you are in this world. Thereupon, the Lord of Raghu, even though he knew all the circumstances that had led Marika to assume the semblance of the deer, arose with joy to accomplish the object of the gods. Casting a look at the deer, he grinded up his loins and piece of the cloths and taking the bow in his hands and uh, fitting the shining arrow at the same the lord Kosh Kosha Kosha Lakshmana a host of the demons brothers roam about in the woods take care of the Sita with regards to your strength and circumstances and making use of your intellect and discretions the deer took the to flight and the sight of the lord and the Sri Rama ran after it pulling his bow strings how strange that he whom the Vedas describe in negative terms such as not that and whose Shiva is unable to catch hold of even uh, in meditation rain in pursuit of the first year. Now close at hand the very next moment it ran away to the some distance at one time. It came into the view at another, it went out of the sides, thus ultimately revealing and concealing himself, itself, and uh, practicing every kind of while. It took the lords far away. Now Sri Ramas took a steady aim and let fly the fatal shaft. Then the animal fell off the ground, and the fearful cry, first calling aloud to Lakshmana, but afterwards mentally invoking Sri Rama, while giving up the ghost in man, feasted in real forms and loving, uh, remembered Sri Rama, the the omniscient lords who could see the love of his hearts conferred of him the state which cannot be easily attained to the even by the sakes. The gods rain down flowers in abundance and sing praises of the Lord, the Lord of Raghu, in such a friends of the humble that he comforted his own state divinity on a demon. As soon as he had slain the wretch, the hero of the Guru line turns back the charming bow in his hands and square as his vest. When Sita heard the cry of the distress, she was, she was seized with excessive fear and said to the Lakshmana, Go quickly, your brothers in the great perils. Lakshmana answered with smile, Listen, mother, by the very play to the Sri Rama's eyebrow, the entire creation is, is inhalated. Could he then be ever dreaming to be the uh, being in dangers? But when Sita urged him with words that cut him into the quick uh, lesson, Lakshmana resolution for such such was she, Hari's wills was shaken. He entrusted her to the care of all the Salvan gods and the deities presiding over the quarters and proceeded to the place where Sri Rama, a veritable Rahu to the moon like Ravana, was availing himself of the opportunity when there was none by the side of the Sita. The ten headed Ravana drew near to his uh, to her cottage in the goose of the recluse. He, in the fear of whom the host, a god and demon, equally trembled so much so that they could neither sleep by the day by night nor eat his foods by the day that very ravana proceeded on his missions to th to thieving uh, look thieving looking this side and that side like a cur even so the moment a man sets his foot on the path of the wise you know, o garula king of the birds his bodily glow reasons and the strength completely disappears having invently alluring stories of the various kinds he now only showered her the course the course uh, which was uh, dictated by political wisdom but also used threats and made love to her said sita listen O oh, holy father you have spoken like a villain thus ravana revealed his uh, real forms and she was uh, terrified when he mentioned his name sita pulled all her courage and said stay a while O wretch my lord has come even as a tiny hair would we uh, wed a lioness so have you wooed your own destruction by setting your heart on me. O king of the demons, on hearing uh, these words, the ten-headed Ravana flew into the rake. Through in his heart, he rejoiced to adore her feet. Full of the rake, Ravana now seated her in his carriage and drove through the air in great fury. He was so much afraid that he was scarcely able to drive. 
a lord of the ragu peerless champion of the world reliever of distress and delighter of suppliant uh, the sun uh, that gladdens the lotus like rays of the ragu for what fault of mine you forget showing mercy at uh, lakshmana the fault is none of yours i have reaped the fruit of the temper i sh- uh, i showed manifold where the lamentations that vidya's daughter uttered through boundless his mercy my love uh, my loving lord is far away who will uh, praise the lord of my comity and as would eat the sacrificial oblations at the sound of the sita a loud wailing of created being uh, where whether animate or inanimate felt distressed uh, felt distressed jatayu the king of the vultures heard the pictures uh, piteous cry and recognized from her voice that it was the spouse of the shri rama the glory of the rugures who was being carried away by the wild demon uh, ravana like a dun cow that had fallen into the uh, hands of some barbarian sita my daughter fear not i will kill this demon the bird started off its frothy like a thunderbolt hurled against the mountain why do not uh, why do you not spot ovilin stop, stop ovilin you are proceeding fearlessly as if you have not yet known me when he saw the uh, you saw, saw the vulture being down upon his like death a tenant headed monster monsters turns towards him and reflected uh, is the mount uh, manika or uh, can it be the garuda o king of the birds the latter however known by the stand and as also uh, his lord bhagwan vishnu when the third, when the bird drew near by recognizing it and said it is uh, no other than the aged jatayu he has come to drop his body at the uh, staunchy or uh, century of my hands at this the vulture uh, rushed in the ex- uh, excitement of the uh, flurry exclaiming exclaiming uh, listen uh, ram uh, listen ramna to my advice and returns home safely letting janaka's daughter uh, alone otherwise despite you may many your many arms what will happen in this in the most terrible flame of the shri rama's wrath your whole houses will be consumed like a moth belikos ramna's belikos ram shri rama nama belikos ramna however gave no answers the vultures jatayu thereupon rushed widely on the clutching clutching the demons by his hair pulled him from the carriage so that he fell uh, to the ground having pros- uh, placed sita in a safe retreat the vulture turns once more towards ravana and striking him with the beak tore his body for nearly half an hour ravana lay unconscious much annoyed as at this the demon now angrily drew his most dreadful sword and cut off jatayu's wings in walking shri rama's and having accomplished marvelous feats the birds fell to the ground ravana took sita once more into his car and drove off in the hash greatly alarmed sita was borne through the air lamenting like a frightened dove caught into the trap of the hunter perceiving some monkey perched on the hill sita she dropped some cloths uttering shri rama's names in this manner ravana took sita away and kept her in the ashoka garden the rest tried every kind of the treat and at every kind of threat and endearment but failed miserably at last he keep her under the ashoka tree strongly guarded for six for the nine days recitation pause this is day first shri ramayana page number 708